I think I might enjoy coloring. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I'm sharing another coloring project. I have an adorable stamp set and it required some coloring. And I think the more that I practice, maybe the less stressed out I will be when I'm coloring. Who can say? I will say this, this stamp set I'm using today is a Stamp Timber exclusive available only at Simon Says Stamp. Lawn Fawn is very popular and when it sells out, it's gone. But hopefully you can still take away some tips if you are like me and struggle a bit with your confidence when it comes to coloring. Stick around, that card project is coming up next. Here's a look at the Stamp Timber Lawn Fawn Exclusive. Isn't this cute? It's called Sledding By. Just classic, cute lawn fawn. Now, I do not have the coordinating dies for these, but I'm inspired to do more masking. This whole one layer card. If you don't like fussy cutting, masking is easy to do because I think it's much easier to trace an outline for masking than it is to cut cardstock. That's just what I get kind of floating out there. So let's get started with planning the design. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a few items on the masking magic. And even though this doesn't have a closed, uh, like his little hair is not completely closed, I think I'm going to do this anyway because I think this little sled team is so cute. And then I'm going to also bring out the trees. All right, try to use as much of the masking magic as possible, right? I don't want to waste any. I always keep the scraps because you never know when you just need like a little piece here. And for these, it doesn't have to be super primed uh, for stamping. Just give that a little once over and I'll stamp in my Memento Tuxedo Black to create my masks. Just press that down. Now I will have my stamped masks for my card. I'm going to stamp this friend in the middle and we're going to pick this up. I'm just going to turn it for a second so I can get a good stamping of that. And bring that down. Stamp. I think I'll stamp it one more time. Now I will clean off this stamp, put that back on the package, and I'm gonna take my mask, and the part that I was most concerned about, I actually was trying to cut out the inside here and I kinda, <laughs> kinda messed it up. So I'm gonna release this backing paper because I'm really more concerned about the sides. It's off now. I did tear a little of it, but that's okay. At the bottom, you'll see. I think that's going to be all right though because what I want to do here and let me get in oh, sorry that just hit my mic let me get you here okay I just want to get it lined up as as evenly as possible now I'm going to take some of the backer here and just press that okay now here's the thing I don't know I don't know yet how many trees I'm going to do, but I am going to start with and a little one back here, right here. Okay, so there's some trees behind them. 
and then I may add more. I haven't decided. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. That's the thing about creating masks is you never really know. You never really know until you do it, like what it's what it's going to look like. I mean, you, you obviously can sketch some things out, and I've done that, but we'll see. Let's give a nice press where the mask is. Oh, that's those stamped really nice. One more, just another for good measure. All right, now I'm going to wipe this off, and I think I'm going to stamp one more little tree. So we'll have a total of three trees. Take that little friend off here, and she will wind up right there. I think that's good. Look at that. Okay. Pick that up, reposition, and stamp it down. Like that. that looks good. All right. Now I have everything stamped and everything's in place. Now I may want to mask off a little bit more to create a foreground but you know what I think I'm gonna I think I'm fine for right now let me think about this and then we'll we'll figure out how we're gonna add our color I am placing masks over this tree and I already put another one over that tree because I have an idea for something I want to do with the sky so let me grab some ink and a stencil and I'm just gonna pop it here because I'm just going to use this little uh, Gina K Designs Snowfall to add some snow. But before I do, I think I need more masking. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, what I would like to do is cut a little hill. Nothing heroic, just something little. Let's see, I can't really see through, but I'll just go something like that something something like that <laughs> I just need a guide and for this I will just use my big scissors it does not have to be perfect I think the idea here is just to have a gentle slope what about that all right I'll take that off and then I'm just gonna place it you know right now well, shoot I do want it to be here but then under that I'll probably just I'll probably just you it, it'll make sense I hope <laughs> no guarantees you know this is we're just rolling the dice here so I'm gonna place it right here and stick that down to my mat as well I'm gonna clean off my brush a little and I'm just going to take some mar this is marine from Simon says stamp I'm gonna put that up there all right load that up and then we're just gonna hold this in place and add some snow like that. Just a little, little simple stencil of snow. Boom, done, snow added to the foreground. Now if I wanted to, I can offset this a little and go a little lighter. All right, get a little extra in there like that. Come over here, same thing, offset, more snow. Lighter ink color, right? So easy to do. Rotate it a little bit more, like that. Make the snowy sky, very easy. Okay, so now I can peel this up and it does at least reveal where I have preserved the foreground. I'm just gonna put it right about where the snow line is, okay? Like that. Now, I'm not gonna be too aggressive here, so I'll just take the back of that now and pop it there to protect up here. Now, I think I'll just do like a light, oh gosh, what should I do here? Let me grab an ink. I'm going to do just the lightest touch of flannel just to create the suggestion of a foreground. I don't, I don't want it to be dark, I just want it to be a little and it, I think it will show up it'll be very light okay just enough barely can see it 
gonna trust that it's there. <laughs> Is it there? Oh, it's so light. There we go, showing up a little bit more. Maybe on the sides there, there we go. All right, that's enough just to give us a foreground. And if I have to bring these back, I certainly can. Oh yeah, that'll show up quite a bit. I hope it doesn't look like dirty snow. <laughs> I think it will just give me, uh, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not a masterful uh, this, whatever this is. But I think when you see this, right, we're going to at least have, even though I didn't cut out all the pieces, right? Let's get that masking paper off. Now, I didn't make that see-through, but they're, now they're on the hill. So at least I have that going for me. Okay, a little suggestion of a hill. Now I am going to put on some music, grab some Copic markers, and color in this scene. going to take one of these little oh what funs maybe stamp one up here just do that actually in black and then this I'm going to emboss in silver I think let me see if that's straight all right let's see that actually looks really straight so the oh what fun although that could be cute in silver too although the reason i like it in black is it feels separate and like just as a little cutesy cutesy so i'm going to do that it was just a thought and i think it's very cute to have just a little boop stamp that again get that O up there isn't that cute just to have a little baby oh what fun okay that was a good choice <laughs> I think I'm going to powder up with some of my antistatic powder. Okay. And I think silver will be a nice touch. It won't stand out too much, but it will be a nice little, uh, oh, my pad is so dirty. And bring that down and press. That ink transfer. I think I could stamp it one more time. Like that. Okay. And let me grab my paper and I'll just sprinkle on some Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Silver Powder right there. I think that should be fine. And, oh yeah, that's gonna be great, I think. Let's see, <laughs> it's a little smushy at the end. I hope I didn't mess that up. Oh no, that's gonna be fine. Okay, let's filter the powder back in. All right, 
now I have a nice shiny greeting and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a die and we're gonna trim this down just a little bit and kind of crop my scene so that the greeting is centered and that looks straight. So let's tape this down and I'll go run this through my die cut machine. Now lifting this up and I have my perfectly cut little panel for my card. To finish this card, I thought having a lavender note card would be super cute with the scarves and the hat, right? Having that lavender tone, it's very wintry. Oh, I love it. All right, let's take this off for the backers. As a final touch, I thought I would just put a few little snowflakes on my tree with a jelly roll pen. So this is just my white pen, little dots, just kind of letting the ink flow. This is far more than I usually do, but I'm telling you, a little cutie patootie set like this kind of inspires me to try things that are a little out of my comfort zone. And that is my finished card project. So a little bit of masking. I mean, it's very simple. The coloring, very simple. You don't have to be a really fancy colorer to have a really sweet card project when you are done. You can find links to all the supplies I used in today's video. Remember, this stamp set is a Stamp Temper exclusive. So if you love it, snag it before it's gone. Lawn Fawn makes a very popular Stamp Temper set. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see a few more videos where I'm doing some very simple coloring, check out the two thumbnail links below and I will see you in those videos.